Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tyler Baker of Valiant Baptist Church, and we are located in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm coming to you with part nine of the series entitled, Jesus is Jehovah, wherein I am proving from the Bible, the Old and New Testament scriptures, that Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary, was in fact the one and only true God, Jehovah, manifest in the flesh. Now there's a debate that's been going on for centuries and centuries, and it's still even being argued about to this day. And that is, was it a man who died on the cross or was it God? Well, the answer is very simple and it's found in many places in the Bible. A very clear example is 1 John 3, 16, where the Bible says, hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. So by this, we understand or perceive the love of God because he, that's God, laid down his life for us. Those that would resist this truth will never fully understand how much God loves them because it was he himself who died on that cross. It was not just a man, but God died on the cross. We find this truth being taught also in the book of John. During the life of Christ, he fulfilled many prophecies of the Old Testament while he was alive and while he was living. But not only that, he also fulfilled many prophecies at his death. In John chapter number 19, we're told about a few of those prophecies. One in particular in John 19, 37, and it says this, And again, another scripture saith, They shall look on him whom they pierce. Now, of course, this is a prophecy that was being fulfilled while the Lord Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross. He was the one that was pierced, and he was the one that everyone was standing around and looking at. What's very interesting is if you look up scriptures from the Old Testament, you can always learn a little bit about them. For example, this passage is being quoted from Zechariah chapter number 12, verse number 10. And if we look this passage up, we can learn a little bit more about the identity of Christ and who it was actually that they were looking at and who it was that they pierced. Zechariah chapter number 12, verse number 10 says this, and I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. If you get the context, it's very clear that this is God, that is Jehovah himself speaking, and he utters the words, they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. We look at the New Testament and we know that they were looking at Jesus. But Jehovah says in the Old Testament that when they were looking at Jesus, do you know who they were really looking at? Jehovah. Jehovah said that when they were piercing Jesus, do you know who they were really piercing? They were piercing Jehovah. Proving once more and once again that Jesus Christ was Jehovah. And that it wasn't just a man who died on the cross, but as a matter of fact, it was Jehovah himself, the one and only true God, showing and demonstrating how much that he really loves you. God bless you and have a good day.